Hello, and welcome to our fifth in our series on sp God's spiritual gifts in you. We are looking at Acts chapter 6 today, what is often called the, um, the in choosing seven men to serve as deacons in the early church. So let me explain the situation. What happened is, is Pentecost occurs, the Holy Spirit comes upon the apostles, as Jesus said he would. The word of God spreads rapidly. Many, many people come to the faith. Let me read here the first verse. As the believers rapidly multiplied, they weren't just adding a few people, they were multiplying. The apostles preaching, the fellowship, the breaking of bread and prayer, the generosity was having an effect, and many people were joining Jesus, becoming disciples of his. And so there was success. But, as often happens when there's success, problems occurred. Let me read the rest of the verse. As the believers rapidly multiplied, there were rumblings or grumblings of discontent. It turned out that some of the people who were Greek-speaking Jewish Christians felt that the widows that were Greek-speaking weren't getting taken care of as well as those who were Hebraic-speaking Christians. And so there was a problem. Well, when you have a problem in the church, what do you do? Do you ignore it? No. Do you just try to work harder and do the same thing? No. What they did is they prayed, and the apostles got together, and they chose seven men who were full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, and they installed these men to serve in their place. The apostles went on teaching and leading the growing numbers of disciples, but these seven men, beginning with Stephen and Philip as the most well-known, became what you might call leaders in the congregation. They were supposed to make sure that uh, these widows were being taken care of well, but the next thing you know is they're evangelizing and taking God's word to other people. And we see Stephen preaching, eventually Philip taking the good news to Samaria and other parts of, of the world. And the result of this was, so God's message continued to spread. The number of believers greatly increased. Actually, the best translation is multiplied in Jerusalem, even to the point where some of the Jewish priests were even converted. So you see what happens. When there's challenges in the church, we seek the Holy Spirit's leading and what we begin to do is we begin to disciple more people who can then disciple other people. If the apostles had tried to do everything themselves, the church would never have grown much more. In fact, it might have died eventually. But instead, it multiplied and multiplied. That's exactly what God's calling His church to do today. To not just have a few people laboring to bring the good news of Jesus to people, but using all the spiritual gifts, using all the gifts of God's people to take the good news to others. Have you ever thought of yourself as a spiritual gift? Well, you are. You are part of God's gift to His church. And He wants you to also disciple others, to follow Him and disciple others so that good news can go out into all the world and the church can continue to grow and grow and grow. So when we have problems in the church, we need to turn to what the apostles and the early Christians did and to utilize all the gifts among us so that many, many people can be saved and the word of the Lord can increase and grow. God bless your, your study today. Let me pray for you. Lord, thank you 
for the good gifts of your people. Thank you that we are all called to bring the good news to others and to follow you and to encourage others to follow you. Thank you for the early example of the apostles and these, uh, these early servants of God. Thank you that you use all people for your good and for the gospel to spread. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.